you see how pleased he is to sign a new contract at St Johnston? I personally, really. I think it's just uh, it's good to get it all done. You know, it's been in the talks for the last month or two, and um, yeah, it's it's great to get it all uh, signed up because it gives you that security. It's no longer in your head anymore, and you know you're going to be you know part of the club for the next cut of seasons at least. So, and it's a, a great club to be at, and I've enjoyed my time so much here. So, to extend it, you know, uh, obviously really happy with it. What's your memories of first joining St Johnston? You came in, this, came in at the same time as Steve Banks just before St Johnston were going to be playing Rosenberg. Aye, you know, I think, um, again, when, just before I signed, there'd been talk, you know, the previous months or whatever that I'd be, be going there. It's probably the same, just when I got it signed up, you know, I was really happy to get it done. You know, St Johnston were a European team, you know, already established, basically top six teams, so I was delighted to get it signed up and... Um, you know, right away, I think it's it's uh, you could tell it was a really good place to that you're going to play your football. You know, great changing room and great uh, staff and that to work with, and uh, you know, nothing's changed since then. Really. And Tommy Wright had just taken over as manager when when you'd come in um, and come into the club. What's your relationship like with Tommy Wright? Ah, it's great. You know, I think uh, I got on obviously really well with the gaffer and uh, Callum and Nick. Uh, I think most of the boys would say that. There's no it's a it's a great atmosphere about the place we in the change room with the players and obviously on the pitch and uh, with the, the whole team and the and the staff, you know, it's all it's a great chemistry between everyone and I think that's why when people come to St Johnson, you know, players, you know, they they tend to stick around for a while. And as well as the the Scottish Cup win and obvious standout, what are the other kind of big highlights from your time at St Johnston so far? Um there's been plenty really, I think. I think just because we've had the uh, great success over the over the years, it's um, the whole time I've been here has been been excellent. There's not been a lot of lot of lows apart from obviously some, you know, cup games where we've uh, we've been looking to obviously get far in the competition and been, and been put out. But uh, I think there's been a, a few good games at the end of the season. You know, like when uh, we played Aberdeen up at Petardry, going for fourth place, we managed to uh, to get that. Uh, with a, a good, good victory up there, that was excellent. Times like Rangers in the cup, so I mean, no, there's been plenty of, of high moments, and um, you know, and the way we're going this season, there's probably going to be more to come. Hopefully, over the next couple of years that I've, I've signed for. And I was speaking to Liam Craig earlier in the week, and he was saying that St Johnston's a club that he thinks gets the best out of him, out of him as a player. Do you agree with that for for yourself? Absolutely, I I think so. I think. Um, it's probably a case for for most of the boys would would agree with that. Definitely for myself, and um, you know, since I've came here, I've been you know happy with uh, the way I've been progressing. And you know, yeah, you're, you're always still learning. Doesn't matter what age you go go to, you're always still trying to improve. And I think uh, it's definitely the right place, the right environment to to do that for for any player really. And just looking to tomorrow, the home home match with, with Kilmarnock. What's your your thoughts going into that match? Um. You know, we all know it's be a tough game. I think we've we've played them already this season at McDermott, and they came out one 0 winners at the end. Albeit a frustra- frustrating day for us because we've probably done enough to win the game, but fair play to them, they they done what they had to do. Um, so we know it's going to be a tough game, but uh, you know, we look at it another three points. You know, it really does um, almost cement our place in the, the top six, and we're only a point behind. Hearts six points behind Rangers, so there's plenty to play for for us, and nah, we'll definitely, uh, we'll definitely no underestimating Kilmarnock in any way, but we'll we're looking to get a few points out of the game now. And how much belief do you have in, in in your teammates that you guys can go on and push on to to catch the likes of Hearts and Rangers in the league table? I totally. I think um, you know this season, I think we've proved when we've, we've played against these teams, you know, and the fact that we're only a point behind Hearts and six points behind Rangers we show that we're, we're capable of being up there up there with them and uh, um, I think if we if we do we keep doing things right you know taking it game by game and playing the way we did against Ross County you know against Hamilton in, in previous weeks even the, the Celtic games you know we played well even though we, we didn't uh, get victories there but we've uh, we've shown this this season this full season that we're definitely capable of beating any team and um, I think with in terms of Hearts and Rangers, you know, a lot of the pressure is is on them to 
to finish above ourselves and finish above each other. So no, I think um, for us, we'll definitely push them all away and hopefully, hopefully we can finish uh, well, as high up the table as we can really.